What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So, to round off what happened last time, uh, frustrating, I'm having to re-record this episode. Um, so, a couple of things happened. Firstly, the British landed a force off of the coast of Athens, which I then promptly engaged with my navy. We fought the whole battle, it was about half an hour. Um, managed to win. And then I went to increase the time dilation at the end of the, towards the end of the battle to mop up the routing units, and the game decided to crash. So I lost my recording. Oh, and also in that battle, in that part, the British pushed up from Persia. Um, <clears throat> so I stopped the recording, hopped back in, auto resolved, and went, "Cool, that was lucky. Maybe, you know, I could have lost my footage." Then I checked and realised I actually had. So it's been annoying. But, uh, you know, that's why this army is in refit. <laughs> and there's a British army off the coast of Athens, and we've got a bunch of Austrians charging down, which, and we cannot um, intercept this British army that's going to attack Athens. Plus, you know, that in and of itself isn't a massive problem, not compared to the constant streaming of Austrian troops coming down. We are building up another force here at Ankara. Um, it's been pointed out before that I've got militia here um, I definitely want militia here because the point is not to provide troops to defend against rebellion it's to just provide provide cheap fodder to prevent said rebellion so I'm not overly concerned about their quality um, and we should I thought we would have had a unless it, well, it would have been the trading port um, but it could well be good that we have to Let's demolish this carpet weaver's workshop to replace it with a happiness building in order to help suppress the the movement. Because I don't want to get rid of the religious happiness building because it's having quite a positive effect. But yes, these are things that have happened. The, the Brits have landed, I destroyed their fleet, and then they've also pushed up from Persia, which I'm actually going to take up here. And let's... Uh, Let's also that. That's a, they're almost dead. Anyway. You push up, not quite all the way, because they might do some shenanigans. They're probably going to push this navy out of their port, so I'm going to flee back to Basra. Maybe even dismiss, disband this unit, this mob unit. Then um, blitz it in turn, because right now, not a lot's going on. And the Brits are probably going back to pick up yet another force but it looks like they're having problems regarding repairing their navies yep so there goes Athens can't stop them can't stop them from taking it um, but it will be hell for them to hold on to and we're probably going to dispatch some troops to go and intercept that raiding unit while my rest of my army is probably going to continue towards the British territory, because otherwise they won't actually stop. Yeah, we've got Prussia gathering gathering strength in Northern Europe. So we really, really, really need to uh, have quite a big win. Oh, so the Mughal forces have landed in the Americas. And yes, we really do need a... We need some decisive battles against the Austrians. Or or in tandem with um, development of an even bigger navy. Potentially even something like capturing Malta as a forward base to keep hostile elements away from our shores. So we can bring this army that's currently being resupplied, well not being resupplied, but being supported by some additional guns. Put the city under siege. Let's go back to Bursa and add a coffee house to help with the happiness problem. Let's go to this navy here and spend a bunch of money repairing and add another ship to the recruitment pool. Probably going to want to keep spending money on making money. Let's probably move our Hashashin to... Bring them on a long walk. Senor. 
New roads would be a good idea. Build some roads in Cairo. Or, or actually, don't want roads in... Baghdad might be better. To be honest, building roads is any, at any time is a good idea. So let's go to Ankara. Let's move these men out. And these Sek Banjanissaries. Let's recruit a general, Topal Hamid. And let's get to work on building up his army. It's something I'd want to start because... Oh no, not camel gunners. I want camel nomads because it takes so long to get into position because they're so far away. I think I'm probably going to save that money for now. So if we declare on Dagestan, who will be annoyed? All these protectorates, the Knights and John Savoy. Yeah, well, lots of frustratingly relevant nations that might cause naval problems later on. So let's not do that. Um, Bill of Rights is about to be researched, which probably won't help from a happiness perspective. An Ankara. Someone's using like a drill or a cutting tool or something. Um, but let's keep. Oh, I forgot to uh, dispatch troops down in Persia. And the Brits are sailing in Athens. Good. They can march towards us and we can cut them down. And there will be little they can do about it. Just need to keep keep investing in my economy. Keep generating stronger armies. And this is well, this is kind of good for us. I'd rather be on the solidly on the defensive, but I'll take oh, one of you is not like the others. So my, this is my front line. Put some flank companies in. So group them with my group the weakened unit of Issa already with my Janissaries because they're already well by the way with my grenadiers. I oh, know they are Janissary musketeers because they're already a bit weaker. Group some covering camels together. Cavals on the the rest of my cavalry on the right. Semenes and melee infantry will rush up behind. Although my this artillery is not likely to get. Deploy my Mamelukes in to engage. Where's my cavalry on the other flank? Because you might have a similar problem over here. I charge my Felaina in just to drag them down. My my Mamelukes have to do work. Risks of Souls and Bashi Bazooks. Everyone get down here. I'm mobbing this light cavalry unit. Cover out of the way. I'm not quite sure why we're getting our sound bugs again. Charge in the riskers of souls because they don't give a damn. Let's 
Save me my bashy bazooks. The 11 flight horse is going to start feeling very poorly. Charge the Bashis into the flank. Some of our Sarades are routing, but that's fair enough. Our central line has broken as well. To be honest, charge the Feline in. Camels can chase the Dragoons. Cavalry make a straight run round the flank. Charge the Seminoles in. Charge this cavalry onward. The other Feline that are in there. God, this is a very messy first battle of the session. Pull my men back. Set these men up to intercept the reinforcements. No, don't engage the Buccaneers. Keep pushing on. Semis and my general are charging in there. My cavalry keeps trying to have a pop at the square formations. My Bashis are fighting against the Colonial Light because they've routed. Enemy general's been killed. Probably because I've got my camels running around the rear. Grenadiers are pouring fire into the 33rd. New men charge down into the 40th regiment, so my Feline can just charge on. Everyone charge on into whoever they like. Although, to be honest, probably. Let's keep my cavalry running. Let's continue. God, this really was a messy first battle, wasn't it? Really, it really was. Give my generals having a good time killing Brits. Charge down the cab artillery, then it's going to cause you problems. Yeah. Looks like we're not going to get too many of them, sadly. We can try. It looks like. The gunners still at one of the. Yeah, they still got gunners at the artillery. And they're going to get mown down by my mounted troops. Hopefully, I mean. 
Yeah, good. I was going to say. It would be muddy strange. Yeah, we lost more men than I'd like. A lot more men than I would like. And at least the French are... They are combining their forces. More Austrians coming in from the north. I really need to try and end this war against Britain. One way or another. I think if I secure Greece and I garrison it with a decent army that could probably be enough and then I'll have those three armies trying to spar against the Austrians good the Moroccans are finally taking their army back after about 10 years at sea because right now the main well, the main problem is we're being pulled in all directions. We need... We need a good win. Like these guys are raiding, can't stop them. You guys repair Greece. Our cash has gone down a lot. Probably because we're losing some trade partners. But that's why we've got our policies the way we have to try and create some bonuses. Oh, minus one to manager, minus one to manager. So what one recommendation was, like, if I just do this, I, I'll then get a brand new set of candidates, which I think is pretty clever, and only really works for Oh, yeah, the rights of man probably doesn't help. Come on. There we go. Um, so it feels like I pretty much have to kind of split my investments in half. Or split my spending in half. So I spend half on upgrading my army. Trying to go south? That wouldn't make sense. You can't go in. So let's move the unit of pikes out here. Oh no. You go join up with them. Craft workshops and a new commercial basin. Good. Although, to be honest, we're probably better off just attacking them. Let's take Athens back. So we don't have to worry so much about our rear areas and we can actually spend time killing Austrians on the front line. That's what we need to do. We need to grow our internal economy. I need, I need to get a good... A good uh, naval minister. Okay, all my guns back here. From a mighty battery. Just form a gun line of our regular troops. Line them up with our pretty pants. Uh, Seminis. Combine. Cavalry, get the general behind the line. Yep, yeah, they're happy to push because they don't have any artillery to challenge me. You can see it looks like we're having similar problems because these artillery, we didn't hear any of the booms of them firing. They can have one unit sat right at the back to frustrate us. Let's run our units into position just so we don't get caught on the hop. Fourth Regiment of Dragoons. We 
going to get shot from the saddle. Yeah, and the feline have been have dragged them off with their saddles for sure. You guys both from square, fire all off. Let's target all of our artillery to face this poor unit. Light horse is taking some artillery fire. Retreating under concentrated small arms fire. Target, although <laughs> to be honest, the next target's probably uh, not going to last very long either. Come on, charge that unit. There we go. These men are going to fall pretty rapidly, so the combined fire will hold a bunch of troops. Make ready and just kill as many of them as you can. Ooh, one unit of Israeli versus all those men. They're in. They've lost five men. Good God alive. Look at this guy. What a beast. Yeah, standing their ground, but uh, it's not going to help them. The officer. Well, it looks like. Oh, it says they're winning slightly. How cute. They didn't even have fire by rank yet. Good. Now the fifth can get involved. Reloading. Oops, one click. So apparently, yeah, so this is what insert does. Oh, let's end the battle there because it's a uh, immediately pretty quick. Let's take the city. Let's repair the key buildings. I'm still being replenished. Let's move back up north to hold off and protect Thessaloniki against these Austrians. We do need to save up and build some kind of protection buffer. We need to build walls. We need to build something. I'm probably going to build a light galley to protect the port. may even go as far as to deploy my navy to Piraeus because we know this is a target for the enemy elsewhere let's dispatch 
So what's here? The unit of supplies. Okay. Dispatch three. Is so ready? Let's go take. See the audio problems. So dispatch these guys to take out Zachary Archer, and they have. Let's dispatch these men to take out the garrison at Bandar Abbas, which they have. Ah. Oh. Chase him down. It's the general. And send the main army to go hit Samuel Russell. So this chap marched on Zahedin, and then these guys march up to meet them en route. Good stuff. Okay. Good. So we've got a couple of turns, we don't have to worry about technology, because it's going to take a few turns for things to happen. Oh no! The French are bringing Catholic missionaries! They shouldn't upset things too much, I suspect they're, going, they're marching on their way to meet the... to get to their region in the Middle East. But it's not the sort of influence I want in this part of the world. We just gotta hope the Prussians and the Prussians and the Austrians are involved in a pretty major conflict. Look, the Moroccans are coming back. They're gonna park off of the island again. Well, why change the habit of a lifetime? That's what I always say. Polish are marching towards Crimea. Not that we can give them any support. Good. So let's march. You march up and then just get these guys to meet up with them en route. Spend some cash replenishing. And how much to repair the shipyard? 812. 50 to repair the farm. Abundant yield mines. An extra 200 cash, that's pretty good. Uh, I probably want... Craft workshop's quite a cheap one to get, which is pretty good. I think I want... where's my... My Hashashin. Probably go try take out this guy. Poor craft workshops, average yield farms. Can't build a I can't build a uh, school. I can't build a new uh, I can't build a many more roads. But Sultan's Observatory is pretty good. Might even prefer a base mansion to get the increase in repression and tax income because this is already earning quite well. Do something like that. You are replenishing and you will walk up to the border. There's a lot of pretty elite troops here. This is going to be some tough nut to crack. Still got some janissaries to recruit. The pikemen, oh yeah. So let's move out this sort of uh, foot artillery out to the army. Get the pikes back in. I'm pretty confident they can hold if they get attacked. Ten and turn. So there go the Royal Navy. Obviously, the Brits aren't going to. And obviously the French have declared on us, so let's bring our allies in. So the Austrians might be attempting a push now. I may need to bring that army that's to the that was to the west 
round to the east and just spend some money recruiting a garrison for Athens. Ah, damn, the Poles have taken up the Crimeans. The Russians are on the move. I've just got to really hope that the French have got their hands full. And it's not going to help that we're going to have a land border with the Mughal Empire, because I fear that we will be drawn into a conflict with them as well. Okay, let's... Okay, let's give... These guys, more troops than they need to attack Quentin Ellis. Just so we can easily ruffle stomp the garrisons here. So you repair my agent, infiltrate, infiltrate this region. Yeah, they're causing problems. Well, they're causing a few problems, not massive problems. Anatolia's happy again. Bring the guns up. So I might want this army around here. Although really I do want to replace... Okay, let's stop crewing them. Let's build a drill school to increase the to replace some of these elite, some of these poor units, and let's also upgrade. Where's that great mine? Here, yeah, abundant yield iron mine. Let's do that. Let's also do probably these farms as well, as they're cheap options. So let's see if we can make. Peace with the British. Yes. Good. And we're making cash. What about Poland? Unfortunately not. Dagestan. They probably won't trade with us. Nope. I'm not giving them... Wait a minute. No. They offered me a load of cash, but I'm not giving them Georgia. Although if we... Did that would provide a good buffer against Russia. No, I'd rather be in control of this strait than have to worry about this entire border. I think that's the good call. Okay. A couple more turns before we get any good texts. The Crimeans are dead. My spy is on the route on route to try and chase down and kill. A spy. That looks like that's the next British Navy to try and cause us problems. Finally. So we're going to sally. The demand trade... Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Let us make money, Poland. Let's not worry. Let's, uh, let's all be concerned about that Austrian enemy to our west. That's what I say. Let's not... Let us not fight each other yet. Poland, let us fight our common enemy. I wonder if our trade with the Barbary States has now gone over land, although it would still be quicker to go by sea. Bankrupt? Oh, someone's... Did I miss? Oh! It's because Istanbul was put under siege. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I was thinking, what? I was thinking, how have we got all of our... How have we got all of our trade? Is it, oh, because our capital's under siege, you fool. Yeah, we're definitely going to sally out against the prince himself, Prince... 
Prince Eugen von Savoyen. Okay, let's bring you guys over here to make sure they don't push west. You can stay where you are, Mr. Hamid. Troops recruited in Greece, you can stay where you are for now. Okie dokie, let's take our garrison and uh, sally out. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for, the f for hopefully, the death of a Austrian royal. See you everyone. <laughs>